I feel like this is a video that every YouTube channel has to have in order to officially become a YouTube channel. It's like a rite of passage kind of thing. If you don't have it, you're not like officially a YouTube channel. You know what I mean? Like everyone wants to know what people's setups are in their home office or studio, wherever they film their YouTube videos at. Uh, so yeah, I thought I'd make my own and officially make it a YouTube channel. <laughs> but I feel like it's kind of cool, you know, to see what people's lighting situation looks like, their audio, their cameras, and how they arrange it in their office. So, oh, and uh, before we begin, I always have to make this disclaimer. Nothing is sponsored here. I don't have anybody sponsoring this video. It's just myself and uh, just want to show you my office. Everything that I talk about will be down below unless it's out of stock or discontinued. Otherwise, it will be in the description down below so you guys can go check that out uh, if you want some inspiration. So without further ado, let's dive straight into it. And well, I guess we'll just start with my camera, uh, which is the thing that's filming me right now. I'm using the Canon EOS R. I really like this camera because it's full frame and it has incredible, amazing autofocus, which is perfect for talking heads like now, like right here. And even though this camera can shoot up to 4K 30 frames per second, I usually shoot at 1080p, not usually. I always shoot 1080p at 24 frames per second just to lower down the file size and avoid that crop factor in 4K. The lens that I'm using is the Canon 16 to 35 f 2.8 Mark II, which is awesome because it lets me get a super wide angle shot of the entire studio if I needed to show like a ton of gear, or it can just zoom in and get a close up of my face. My camera is mounted on the Magnus VT4 4,000 tripod, which is a 10 year old tripod. I think I bought it like 10 years ago when I first started my filmmaking journey. It's, a, it's an old tripod. I don't know if you can find it on Amazon. I'm pretty sure you can if you look hard enough, but uh, I'll link it down below if I find it. Actually, Carl isn't that hard to find. Even though my camera does have a flip out screen, I like hooking it up to the Atomos Ninja 5 external monitor so that I have a bigger screen that's closer for me to see. Boom, that's my camera setup. And we're gonna move on to the most important thing of your entire setup. And that is, can you guess it? If you said lighting, you are wrong because the most important thing is audio. Even if you shoot all of your videos on your smartphone, people will forgive you for having bad image quality, but if they have to sit through terrible audio, they are gonna rip you a new one in the comment section. So let's quickly go over my audio setup. The microphone of choice is the Rode NTG4 Plus shotgun microphone. That goes onto a monopod. Monopod goes onto the microphone boom pole support, mount the support onto a grip head, and that goes right onto a light stand that's weighed down with an eight pound dumbbell. My Rode mic is then hooked up to my Tascam DR05 audio recorder using an XLR to 3.5 millimeter cord because this recorder is nine years old and it doesn't have XLR input in it. To get the cleanest audio possible, you have to have the mic as close to your mouth as possible. And to do that, first lower the mic until you can see it in the frame and then slowly raise it up until it's barely out of it. All right, next we have lighting and I use three lights in all of my YouTube videos. The first one is the new newer SL150W, which is my key light or my main light. It's way cheaper than the aperture light and it produces the same results. I've got the newer light dome mounted on it and it's got a diffusion cover over it so that gives me that soft, nice lighting on my face. The light is then mounted onto a Manfrotto light stand and I use a sandbag to secure it down so that it's not going anywhere. Next in the corner of my room is an office light with a Philips Hue light bulb and I can use that to control the color and change the color of that light. And that's off to the side so that I can just fill in some of the shadows on my face. Here is uh, on and that's off now. Okay, on, off. I don't know, it, it kind of adds a little bit um, of light back into the shadowy side of my face. And the last light that I'm using is this tiny little Aperture Amaron ALMX LED light that sits on the bookshelf behind me so that it gives me a little bit of separation and it can light up the bookshelf. Now, usually in my YouTube videos, my head is big enough to block the light. So uh, you, you don't really often see it. But if I move like this, ah, there it is. See, right there. And I hook this little light up to a power bank because the battery life on it is pretty short and usually when I'm filming for longer periods of time, the light dims out as it loses power. So that is my lighting setup. And next, I guess the last thing we'll talk about is the desk that I'm using and the bookshelf. The desk that I'm using is actually a side table from Fully. They make uh, amazing standing desks and they also make side tables like the one I'm using. And the bookshelf, I think we got it from either Wayfair.com or AllModern.com, which is like six months ago when we first moved into the new house. But last time I checked, I think this bookshelf is actually discontinued, so. 
Sorry about that. And on my desk, I have the little Atomos Ninja 5 external monitor, glass of water, the Tascam audio recorder, and the remote for my light. And then on my bookshelf, I have Jolly Ranchers and M&Ms on the top shelf, along with a couple of fake plants from Ikea. The second shelf has all of my camera and lenses on it, which is the one that you guys see most of the time. The third shelf is just for accessories like batteries, base plates, chargers, etc. And the last shelf is for papers, notepads, and other junk that I don't really use on a daily basis. And uh, that's it. I think that's it. That's my YouTube studio. Um, I hope that gives you some sort of inspiration for your own setup. Obviously, you don't need to have every single piece of gear that I'm using in my YouTube videos. Use whatever you have and start filming. I'm actually gonna do a low budget version of the entire setup. So let me know if you guys are interested in that video. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe. Hit the bell to get notified of every video that I post. Until the next one, my name is Alex Chung and I'll see you later. Bye.